In today's video, I share with you my very simple minimalist and zero waste pen and stationery collection. What I learned and why I went this route. My simple pen collection. I have one fountain pen that I use all the time. The Lamy CP titanium bodied fountain pen with the extra fine nib and refillable cartridge. I do not use disposable cartridges as that defeats the whole reason for me switching to this pen. Additionally, I have grown up with cursive writing which lends itself better to fountain pens. I use the Lamy CP titanium barrel all the time and take it with me even when I travel. I do empty the ink out as cabin pressure can cause quite the mess with ink. The only convenience is that I need ink. When I travel home, it is not a concern as I have ink at home, but when I'm traveling to other countries, I do unfortunately have this plastic ballpoint pen in my bag to fill out immigration cards. The other fountain pen I have is the Schaefer brushed chrome bodied pen with a steel nib. This is a heavy pen, I suppose, for a big hand. It has a thicker nib that I use on the odd occasion. This is a pen I had earned for many years of hard work. Both pens do have a refillable cartridge. Disposable cartridges go against the grain of my being. I use a very standard black Parker ink that does the job. Further in the video, I'll discuss why I switched to fountain pens. The other pieces of stationery that I do have are a standard small book, regular recycled writing paper, a box cutter for packaging, a scissors, and of course a permanent marker, which I use on the very odd occasion, sparingly. This is my total simple minimalist pen and stationery collection. This brings us to how I arrived here. I stick to my three rules to simplifying, to keep my life simple and stress free. I talked about these in the first video in the series called Two Powerful Ways to Simplify Life and Minimalize Your Belongings. If you are interested in this video, here is the link in your top right hand corner of this video and in the description box below. Here are my three rules to simplifying. 1. Remove excess. 2. Remove complicated. 3. Strictly keep only what is functional. By virtue of just following these three simple rules, I started to simplify a lot of my belongings, resulting in spending less time managing things that I was not interested in managing. By reducing my items, I also started to have a greater appreciation for the items I had remaining. I took better care of them and had greater pleasure in using them. Why I arrived here. Zero waste. I decided to become as zero waste as possible, which made me realize the following. I had too much which led to chaos, excess, clutter, constant maintenance, and requiring more space. A bigger draw, a bigger table, a bigger room, a bigger house, higher heating costs, you get the point. I had watched a lot of documentaries on plastic waste and came to my senses when I realized just how much plastic I was tossing into landfill and the oceans when I buy stationery simply because the stationery looked pretty, like eye candy, but often I never ended up using them. The worst part is that stationery is sold in bulk in the USA. Unfortunately, I cannot simply buy one permanent marker. I am sadly forced to buy a 5-pack or a 10-pack of permanent markers. I do not use them that often and they get dry by the time I get to them in a few years time. I decided to stop being stepped on and instead got a single marker pen from family or friends. I'd just say, hey, even when you buy permanent markers, and I'm sure you have some lying around unused, can you please give me one, for example, as a Christmas gift? This was a little weird, however, it always works and people are actually quite happy to give me one permanent marker pen. Additionally, this way I only have one marker pen instead of a drawer neatly organized with expensive boxes from the container store that houses a million pens that I never use. I naturally don't seem to use marker pens that much in my life as I've learned to simplify life quite a bit. This saves me pennies, but you know what they say, over a lifetime it all adds up.
Here's what I have learned on my journey, from a draw bursting with stationery to this very simple minimal pen and stationery collection. 1. When I had a ton of stationery, I was constantly organizing and decluttering, which consumed time, money, and tons of mental bandwidth I could have otherwise dedicated. Two. Having just what I need by observing and studying my usage patterns has led to this minimal set that is easy and stress-free for me to maintain. 3. Just having what I need seems to create this inner satisfaction quite contradictory to having excess. I seem to appreciate what I have even more. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, kindly hit the like icon and smash the subscribe button as that will help others find this channel as well. I would love to hear from you in the comments on what you thought about this video and what your simple stationery or pen collection is comprised of. I'm always learning new things and would love to improve myself. In next week's video, I share with you what's in my closet. Hopefully not skeletons. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you then. Have a great week ahead and as always, plant strong, animal love, and planet peace.